everybody. I want to give you a few of my top tips for making more useful, interesting, and visually engaging charts in Excel. First one I want to show you is this double bar overlap you see behind me. This is something I get asked about a lot. So we're going to click into our series, and under the series options, there's a series overlap. If you turn that down, you'll have two separate bars. You turn it up, they're right back over above each other. You can edit these separately. One of them will have no fill and just a border, and the other one will have a fill, in this case a gradient fill. Once you've got them both styled the way you want, you turn your overlap up to 100, and boom, you've got a double bar chart with 100% overlap. All right, the next one is taking a metric out of your cell and putting it into a text box. So if you create in a text box like you have here, don't enter in any value into the text box. Instead, go to your formula bar, hit equals, and then click on the cell you want it to reference. Now this text box is always going to update according to a cell, which makes it a little easier to break things out of the grid layout and have a little more flexibility in your design. Next one I want to show you is what I call a lollipop chart. I'm not sure what the technical term is for this, but if you drop a line chart into Excel, click into your series, there's an option for the marker. And if you go into marker options, you can change the size here. What most people are used to is a really small little marker, or you can go really big and make it big enough that you can actually fit a metric inside of it. The last one's a little more general, and this is just thinking about the different fills you can use in your charts. So when you have a series in your chart and you start to format it, your fill options include fill, solid fills, gradients, and pictures, all sorts of different things. In this case, I've used a tiny little icon of a person as my fill, and I've set it to stack, which means it's going to stack it one next to another. There are a lot of different options for fills, too. I like to use gradients a lot. I think it's just a fun way to make things more visually interesting and engaging. Gradients are a little tricky to get a hang of, but if you click into your series, select gradient fill, find a color you like. If you have a dark background, you may want a slightly darker color, a light background, a slightly lighter color and fill in one color on one side and then on the other side do the same color but on your color wheel or your color selector just make it a little darker or move it rotate the color wheel just a little bit from one side to another and what that's going to do is it's going to give you a nice balanced fill if it looks a little funky too you can always go into the transparency section here and adjust it a little until it looks right easy way to get a nice cool engaging gradient that adds a little depth to whatever you're making. So those are the big ones. I've got lots of other tips for lots of different charts so let me know what you're interested in, what kind of charts you want to see made in Excel, and if you want copies of these types of charts or my other charts I've got a newsletter you can subscribe to. Um, there's a thing in my profile to get to it. I'd love to have you there. It's totally free. It's just sample files people can use to learn this stuff. Anyway, thanks so much everybody. Have a good one and I will be back with more later this week. Bye!